I am very happy to report that I am in the new apartment. It is so hot in London today, it is unbelievable. And luckily there is very big windows to kind of let the breeze in, but to be honest, it's not that breezy. It's Sunday today, so I'm looking a bit dishevelled. I've got like a stubble, my hair's not done and I don't care. I'm just really, really happy to be in um, the new place, to have a place in London for the last two months. I've literally just been kind of staying with different friends. I think I mentioned that before the other day. And yeah, just, it's great having the support system of friends, but there comes a point where you just need your own place. So um, yeah, I'm really, 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 really happy. And it's funny because it's just, um, I don't know, it's the last, I'd say the last month has been a bit of a tricky one for me and I haven't really been um, on Insta stories as much because, and I haven't done a vlog or anything like that because I just haven't been in the state of mind to do it. Um, I just haven't been in the greatest space. I've just been feeling really anxious, a bit down, and I think it was just the transition and the stress of it all was harder than I anticipated. Christian and uh, my dog Ralphie aren't here at the moment. Christian's kind of works in Germany, so he's not gonna be here all the time. So he's gonna be kind of visiting back and forth. Um, but that's okay, because I was kind of doing that before anyway, when I was living in Germany and kind of coming to work in London. So we can um, cope with that kind of situation. That's no problem at all. But uh, yeah, I just really, really, haven't been myself but now I'm settled even though it's only been really I kind of last night was the first night that I slept here but already just having a place where just silly things like I can just do my washing without having to ask anyone and just having that kind of clarity and the peace of being alone for a little while I already feel like a new person so that's really amazing so I'm really kind of I've got the energy, enthusiasm to start a vlog and kind of let you know what I'm getting up to as I'm kind of transitioning into moving into the new apartment. So welcome to my bathroom. I'll give you a quick look. So that's my shower, towels, uh, cabinet and loads of products here. And then the toilet, and we've got lots of cupboards, and then that just goes out into the garden. And we've got more cupboards up here. So there is basically loads of storage, which is really, really, really amazing. Um, right now, you can see I've got this stuff here, and I am trying to kind of organize my skincare stash. Now, loads of my stuff is still in Germany, so I know that Christian will be uh, bringing some of it kind of um, to London for me. There's, yeah, there's definitely lots of kind of the Alpha H products that I love that aren't here. Um, I'm really missing Liquid Gold and like Sunday Riley Good Jeans and that kind of thing, but I have got a lot of stuff here. So I'm just gonna kind of, um, organize it for now and then obviously Christian will have stuff here as well so this will be kind of like an initial putting stuff in places and then it's probably going to change and also I'm generally not that good at um make sure you're in the frame I'm generally not that good at organizing stuff so if you guys have got suggestions of how I can do this better let me know in the comments because um I'm always open to some constructive feedback. Okay, so I've decided on this for now. So I've got this, which are the multi-peptide serum for hair density, which I don't use so much if I'm completely honest, but I'll just park it there for now. A couple of fragrances, they're like my two favourite kind of go-tos at the moment, but I have got 
uh, many more that Christian's going to bring. So that's going to have to be a whole other thing, um, most likely. So this is definitely going to be for now and not forever. Um, I've been using CBD oil, by the way. This is the one that I've been using. It's by, it's called London CBD, and it is in hemp oil, and it is uh, 3%, which is a very, very mild one. Um, I mentioned before that I was having anxiety, and that has actually been quite helpful. I've been enjoying that. I don't take it like if I'm at work or something, but if it's the evening or the weekend and I'm feeling anxious, then a little bit of that is actually quite nice. Um, these are my SPFs, as I mentioned before, easy to access. Got that, I kind of considered keeping it in the shower, like over here, I've just got the Sanex shower gel right now, which is not the most amazing shower gel, but it is simple enough that um, it doesn't irritate my skin and it's very, very affordable. Um, and then I've got this cleanser, so a nice cream cleanser to take my makeup and SPF on off in the evening. And then I use the African Botanics as my morning cleanse. And then, so for here, I've got like different hydrators. Um, here we've got the Hadalabo, the Rose Treatment Essence from African Botanics, Glossier Hyaluronic Acid plus B5. And then we've got the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid plus B5. I do need another marine hyaluronics. Um, but then there's the amino acids plus B5, which is a very similar texture to um, the marine hyaluronics. Fabulous multi-molecular hyaluronic complex. Uh, Pyun Kangyul, which is a really, really nice essence. And then niacinamide from Glossier, which is really nice. Uh, copper amino isolate serum, which is another fantastic serum. And then the alpha lipoic acid, which I've done a review on. I will link that up above. That is a very unusual antioxidant from The Ordinary. Um, and this is a mask from African Botanics, which I mentioned in. I actually did an overview of African Botanics products. I've also got the oil here and the vitamin C here. So if you would like to see that review, I will also link that up above. This is a nice little mist that was gifted to me by a modern man. Um, and then down here, so I've put retinols in the corner. I've got three different ones at the moment. There's the Sunday Riley A+, which I've also uh, reviewed. I will link that up above. And then the uh, Medicate Retinol, which I used the other day in that routine. And then the Drunk Elephant, which I've spoken about many, many times. But if you would like to see reviews, there are reviews on a lot of these products throughout the channel. So um, just look through the channel and you'll find them. And then here we've got like a couple of vitamin C options. And then we've got eye creams. I've actually got some really interesting eye creams. I've got the uh, Glossier Bubble Wrap, which is just a nice kind of nourishing eye cream, which is really nice. They say you can use it on your lips as well, but I don't find it that interesting for that. And then we've got the Paula's Choice Clinical Ceramide Enriched Firming Eye Cream, which is really good because... It has vitamin C and retinol in, which are really good ingredients to be using around the eyes, but it's quite difficult to do that because they can cause irritation, but that is definitely not irritating. And then there's the Resurrection Eye Cream from African Botanics, which has got um, vitamin C in it. And then the Liquid Gold from Alpha H. I think that this is actually new. Um, this is really, really nice. It's got a very kind of uh, nifty... Look at that thing. So it's like a little rollable applicator. It's got peptides in. It has got um, fruit acids to kind of gently exfoliate the eye area. And it's just very nourishing to the eyes. Really, really, really like that. And I've definitely noticed an improvement in firmness since I've been using that, which is good. I've got a couple of uh, face oils here. I've got the Votary one, which is very nice. That was kindly gifted by Amazing E um, in Germany, that online store. And then the very spectacular uh, African Botanics Neroli infused mar marula oil, which is truly luxurious. It's very, very expensive. It's something that I'm looking forward to using more in the winter. And then the Dr. Jackson's Night Cream, which is, again, something I would probably use more in the winter. And then this Laneige 
Um, water sleeping mask, which I already mentioned, is okay, but not that, uh, it's not really that great. Gosh, I'm so sweaty in here. It's really, really hot outside. Um, here I've got the Vivasana. This is, uh, I think it's zinc oxide, is it? Or is it just titanium dioxide? It's basically a uh, physical SPF. I do not like this. It's not for me. It's too white, too heavy, too greasy. Um, so I'm going to gift that to someone else um, who might like it. I'll think of someone who likes physical SPFs. And as I mentioned before, this has gone out of date. So unfortunately, that has to go in the bin. And then in here, I've just laid out a few bits for now, so I've got a few hair care products there. I decided to lay them flat because I thought it's just easier to see them. Um, by the way, German toothpaste, I'm a huge, huge fan, and you've got um, this one which you use in the morning which has got zinc in it, and then you've got this one which I think has got calcium in it that you use in the evenings and then there's also this one which is a whitening toothpaste but it hasn't got the gritty granules in so it's not that whitened if I'm completely honest but that's like um, really really good for your gums that was just my phone going off um, then I've got some deodorant and then just some makeup products there some Glossier, the Boy de Chanel, the RMS Living Luminizer couple of Glossier bits, and then, yeah, I've just got some vitamin C. That's a really good vitamin C, by the way, by um, Solga. So if you're interested, that's a really good one. A um, couple of lip balms. I've got Carmex and this one, Nutritic, by La Roche-Posay. Nail clippers from Muji. By the way, Muji nail clippers are so good. So, so good. And then that leg scrub, which I think I've mentioned before, really, really nice. And that is it. Oh gosh, I think I'm just gonna leave this room now because I'm gonna melt otherwise. Good morning, I am just on my way to work. Another glorious day in London. I forgot where I was for a second then. Um, so yes, after I left you yesterday, I'd organized the bathroom, which is very, very good. And then, yeah, I just took it easy, relaxed. I actually placed a HelloFresh order, um, used the discount code, so I got 50% off, which was really, really cool. So I'm definitely going to kind of, it worked out at like, I don't know, around £20 or something for like four meals for two people with the discount. So that's good. But then they renew it every week. I'm not sure if it's necessarily something I want to do every week, but um, they're going to deliver the food on Monday next week, which is my day off. So yeah, I'll give that a go and see how it is. I just need to work out what I'm going to eat this week. And um, I'm working in the salon late tonight, so who knows what that will be. Gosh, just came across the Bamford Spa. How pretty is this inside? Lovely. Very, very pretty. Those huge crystals. Wowzers. Good morning, I am up. Yesterday was the last time I checked in with you. So what did I do? Just went to work, left work. That's the kettle in the background, by the way. I'm just making myself a nice cup of tea. Um, I ended up having this for my dinner last night, which was this kind of like stew from Marks and Spencers. Oh my gosh, it was so delicious. I haven't eaten like a ready-made meal from Marks and Spencers in ages, and it was so delicious, so I think until my HelloFresh order comes next week, um, I'll be eating from Marks and Spencers. But I really do need to kind of like work out, get into a routine of kind of making like freshly prepared dinners. Um, but I'm just not in the zone to do that yet. I haven't got everything I need for the kitchen. There's so many things I need. So I really am looking forward to, yeah, next week when the HelloFresh arrives and that will just have all the ingredients in and I just need to prepare it. And then kind of maybe it will just get me in the zone of, yeah, just preparing my meals. And then the week after Christian's gonna come, um and he's really good so hopefully he'll be able to help me get into the kind of cooking um mojo i really need a cup of tea i'm so actually i'm not so tired actually that's a lie um 
I've been sleeping really, really well in the flat, which is amazing, I have to say. That's like, you know, a bonus. When you move into a new place, you know, you want to sleep well, obviously. So the bed's been comfortable and, um, you know, it hasn't been noisy or anything like that. So I'm really, really, really pleased. And then I'll just get ready. I'm going to have a shower in a minute. I was going to do like a um, morning skincare routine video, but I think I might save that for my day off. I'm off on Saturday, so maybe I'll do it on Saturday. So yeah, because I've done obviously a lot of evening skincare routines, but I haven't done a morning one. So looking forward to this cup of tea. Mm. I'm also going to have some toast with some Marmite on. Let me know, wherever you are in the world, if you've heard of Marmite. Looks like this. Normally it says Marmite here, but this one says the big squeeze. Because it used to be in like glass jars, and now they put it in these squeezy things. Which, I suppose isn't that great because it's plastic, but it is much more convenient than sticking the knife in. Uh, rant and ramblings for me, I know. Um, let me know if you've tried it. And whether you love it or you hate it because generally people love it or hate it and I've just looked and it started raining outside which I don't actually mind because it has been so 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 hot my friend bought me some roses the other day you can see them here and um, it's been so hot that they've all kind of like wilted a little bit and I had to fill up the vase with water like so many times to um, yeah, just stop them from completely drying out. Anyway, enough with the um, rambling. I need to make some breakfast and get ready for work. I'm just having my nails done at work with the lovely Valeria. Say hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> We're just doing a little yeah. freshen up, aren't we, Valeria? How are my nails looking? Very good. Very, Very good. good. Yes. Not too short? Not too short. You're gonna do this color. <laughs> <laughs> Not today, maybe next time. Maybe. Maybe next time. When I, uh, when I watch her video, I start to do my hair, to, to looking at the clothes and blah blah blah. And blah, blah. Saturday evening, I've just got out of the shower and I'm looking forward to a really chilled evening. This is my first, oh by the way, that's the uh, washing machine you can hear in the background. Uh, this is my first week in the flat today and it's been incredible. I feel so relaxed here, so comfortable, so I'm just like so happy that, um, yeah, it's all come together and I just feel really nice. I just need to buy some, um, plates and glasses and all of those things because currently I've got about, oh, well I've literally got one fork, one spoon, one knife uh, and that's about it. So all the rest will come. But yeah, so far it's been a really, really lovely week and it was fun to kind of share the different bits that have been happening with you guys this week and I look forward to coming back with another vlog soon. I just literally put together the clips and I think this is going to be nearly 20 minutes long which is maybe a record for me in terms of blo uh, blog, vlog times but it's been good lots has been happening and I put something up on the community tab the other day and some of you suggested perhaps doing like where I show you my local area and some of the coffee shops or whatever that I go to which could be a really nice idea so maybe I'll try and do that and it's a lovely bookshop nearby that I really like that um, it would be nice to take you guys to and some other things so I'll see if I can do that soon. Someone suggested an apartment tour which I might get round to eventually but right now I'm probably not going to do that only because 
Uh, we've just moved in, it's uh, furnished, but the furniture isn't necessarily what we would choose. It's okay for now, but we would like to kind of add new bits and pieces over time when we've got kind of the, the money to invest in them. So right now, whilst I love the apartment um, and you'll definitely see different parts in different videos, I'm not gonna do like an official tour until I feel like it's completely full up with all things that I've chosen that reflect my personality and Christian's personality. But you'll definitely, yeah, see different bits in different videos, like you saw the bathroom in this one and so on. So if you've got any suggestions of other things that you would like to see in future vlogs, I'm thinking of doing like a foodie type one next week. So let me know if you think that's a good idea or not, um, if it's something that you would like to see with uh, yeah, the HelloFresh stuff that um, is gonna arrive, I'm gonna give that a go. And I'll definitely be back with another skincare video soon. So thank you so much for watching and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, leave me a little comment and say hello and I will see you in the next one, bye.